G'day all, it's Colin from PCTLC and thanks for joining me. Just wanted to take you through um, recent updates I've had with Arch and uh, couldn't get my VirtualBox running. I was having an error um, and I tried, um, if you have a look at uh, my terminal here and I run through the recent commands and there's quite a fair bit of them, you'll have a look of installing Linux headers and long-term support headers, VirtualBox, DKA, DKMS and host module DKMS and all this stuff I was running through I probably uninstalled well I did uninstall VirtualBox and reinstalled it and redid the headers and did the Zen headers don't know why I did that just <laughs> I was just desperate and if you have a look here there's quite a few um, commands in here and uh, I was going out of my mind. I thought, you know, Arch Linux, um, it's a lot of maintenance at times. Uh, this is the second one now because I had the Blender issue. That sort of sorted itself out. Still got a problem with the uh, undo steps, but besides that, it's all working well. And then this, after this update, this error popped up. It's uh, stretching my patience. <laughs> um, and then I decided to, because I was trying to boot this Windows 10 here, and uh, if you hit the start button and you have a look at the error and it'll stop and then I'll show you the error and I'll, I'll search in this error here, result code. Um, there's a few errors there but uh, nothing that really led me to any issues. And then I decided to look at, if we go to, um, if we click on the machine we're trying to boot, which is Windows 10 here, machine, and go to show log. And if we have a look at the logs, um, I was interested in this last one down here. And it said uh, USB XHCI. So I actually um, did a Google search on this one here. Um, and it led me to the fact that um, the USB error here, oh, I don't know what happened there, my virtual box has crashed. So anyway, it led me to an error and somebody mentioned the fact that if you go to your settings and you go to the USB here and you change this back to USB 1.1, everything's honky-dory. <laughs> and it was as simple as that. So I don't know whether, because it was always on USB 3. As you can see, it's booting up. Um, I haven't tried the 2. I don't know if that affects, um, because my VirtualBox... I don't know what that USB is doing because I'm running VirtualBox off a USB which is connected via USB 3. I think that's just the pass through for the VirtualBox. Now, whether that affects the performance or not when you connect a USB to the VirtualBox, I'm not sure. I don't do that. I rarely do that, to be honest. I normally do shared folders, so it's not a huge issue for me. I don't know if everything else is working. I haven't checked, but should be because I haven't done much else. The only thing I did do that could have been... Another error was, um, just let me um, shut this down first. Shut that down. Shut down anyway. The other thing that um, I did do in the uh, under tools and preferences was the extensions. And that one was um, a, an earlier version of the extension pack. So I actually installed, I downloaded the latest extension pack. So I don't, I don't think that updated with the uh, system when VirtualBox updated. So that was that one there. So I installed that just to keep that extension pack up to date with this one, which is help and uh, it's probably is this help and about VirtualBox 6.1-12 uh, something. And uh, if we have another look at that extension here, 12R139. So it's pretty much the same. Uh, peace of mind there that that's running the same. But yes, it was just a matter of um, changing this to USB 1.1. So whether there's an issue with VirtualBox on that, I don't know. Somebody might know. Um, which means now I'm going to probably have to change all of these because I think I had them all set up. Well, that's got two. So I don't know whether that's working or not. Let's try it out on USB 2. No, it failed. Okay, probably the same error. Yep, same error. So that needs to be changed to 1.1. 1 
Now, whether there's a workaround for that, I don't know. Um, I'm just happy I've got it running because I've spent many hours trying to um, sort this problem out, uninstalled VirtualBox and headers and all sorts of stuff. Uh, hopefully, I think everything's uh, where it's supposed to be and everything that's supposed to be installed is installed. I think I tried to uninstall as much as I could and then did it from scratch again. It's not that hard anyway. You just got to choose DK, DKMS. VirtualBox host DKMS, I think it is, when you install. So yeah, that's all that error was all about. So I just thought I would share that with uh, with you all. Um, this might help some people out if they're running Arch and having the same problem. There was some, um, I think it's, uh, let's have a look. Um, EF Tech Made Simple, he did upload something on his community page. And if we go to his community page here, our new VirtualBox update on Arch today is causing a module error when installing. Just type sudo vbox reload in the terminal and the error should be gone. That didn't work for me, unfortunately, but I uh, did appreciate the fact that he uh, uploaded it to his community channel. So that is that. So VirtualBox is running. Probably need to change all of these in the settings to 1.1. Hopefully... Um, this will sort itself out. I'll have to see if there's, or if anyone can let me know whether there's um, some sort of error for Arch going around at the moment for that, or whether it's a VirtualBox thing. I'd have to think it's a VirtualBox um, problem, maybe. I don't know. I'm not going to speculate. All the when it comes to Arch, there's a lot of moving parts, and you know, installing and removing and updating with all that. You just don't know. Um, where the error could come from. So I think pretty soon it's going to have to be that I might have to move to something a bit more stable because this is hindering my productivity. <laughs> and uh, although it's a good learning curve, um, I don't really need to be spending a lot of my time chasing issues all the time. It does take up a lot of time. It, um, if I wasn't YouTubing and stuff, it probably wouldn't be such an issue, but it's a bit of a problem there at times. But uh, look, I'm still enjoying Arch, but there are some issues. And that's uh, part and parcel of running Arch, I, I suppose. Um, I'm not complaining about it. All I'm complaining about is it's it's making it hard for me to be a bit more productive, that's all. So um, maybe time to move on. We'll see about that. That was my virtual box error in Arch Linux. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it interesting and informative. And thanks for watching.